Hello friends, hope you are doing great. I am Sampath. Today I will show you what we have about Crunchbase Pro and how to utilize Crunchbase to gather our targeted information. If you watch this video up to end, I will show you exactly how to use Crunchbase filters to gather our targeted company's information and investors' information. Or if you want me to help you with B2B contact list building or web scrapping services, you can contact me directly. I am mentioning my contact details in the description box. You can directly message me on WhatsApp. Like B2B contact list building, like LinkedIn data scrapping. If you have any such results, I will scrap all the results and I will try to provide you possible verified email IDs and possible dialing information or crunchbase lead generation. Or like if you are looking for Instagram data scrapping, like for example, if you have any competitors' profiles, we can have a chance to scrap that competitors' Instagram pages, publicly mentioned email IDs, and publicly mentioned uh, contact information. Or we can scrap Instagram hashtag based contact information. Or we can collect social media influencers' information based on their location, based on their followers count and industry. Or like we can collect targeted e-commerce stores information, like based on Shopify stores or like Wo WooCommerce stores or Wix stores, anything related to our particularly targeted ones. Or like if you are looking for recently funded companies, like last month funded companies' decision makers' information, we can have a chance to collect our local business information, like local real estate agents, our local car dealers, or like. Uh, dentists or anything related to local business, we can have a chance to collect information like this. Or like angel investors, VCs information, like based on their previous investment history, based on their number of investments, like we can have a chance to collect based on that information. Like anything related to B2B data and web scrapping services, you can contact me. As I said, I mentioned my contact details in the description box. You can directly message me on WhatsApp. So now let us jump into the Crunchbase Pro. For, for example, like if you can see here, already have subscribed to Crunchbase Pro. Like once we subscribe, we can have a chance to access all the information here. Like if you can see here, these are the companies, contacts and investors. Now I will go through one by one and I will show you how to uh, filter our targeted companies. Then after how to filter our targeted contacts information or how to filter our targeted investors information. Now for example, first I will go to the companies. I will show you here how to filter our targeted companies. So for example, first headquarters location. So you can see here, I will just simply mention United States. So so once I select United States, so you can see all the companies in culture base that will change here. So only no, it changes like only companies in United States. So then after you can see the industry here. So I will just simply mention SaaS. So here if you can select, mention the SaaS, then we can have a chance to see the SaaS related companies. You can see here, this is the filter. I'm just clicking this filter. So once I click this filter, now we can see the results are changing. And now we can see 14,799 companies located in the United States. Then after I will scroll down a little bit more, then you can see here number of employee size. So number of employee size, I will just simply select 50. So if you want small companies actually, if you want small companies, then 50 will be the perfect. If you want large companies, and uh, we can select based on that. Here I'm just selecting 50. So once I select 50, so now we can see here, results will change actually. Now 13,422, sorry, 11,186. So then after, once I scroll down a little bit more, here I can have a chance to see the financials. So once I click financials, you can see the companies which got funded. So now here, I am going to select here, like past year. So like uh, now what I, what I am selecting is like uh, the companies, located in United States, the two particularly SaaS companies who got invested uh, from past year. Like now we can see the 762 results. Now if we can scroll down a little bit more, then we can also have a chance to filter based on how much uh, the company got funded and how much money totally the company raised. And like we can also have a chance to filter based on how much revenue they are generating per, uh, per year. Now once we have selected our targeted ones, we can just simply select all, click the selections. So like you have to note, we can't select more than 1000 at a time. So if you want uh, uh, to scrap data from Crunchbase, we need to divide like uh, 1000 each time and we need to gather the information. So here, sound 62 results. Now here you can see I'm just selecting all. So you can see select all. So once we select all, if you want like we can see the information which we required. If we can go to the edit view, so we can see all the uh, information is available actually. So like headquarters location, uh, so we can see the founded date, 
exist date and website, Twitter URL, company information, company contact, email ID, phone number. We then after if we can go to the investment details, we can see investment investor type and stage. Then after if we can go to the industries, here invest, industry groups and industries, you can go to the team. You can see the number of founders that company have, like founder names and number of employees. Then if we can go to the funding, we can see all the funding related information. If we can go to the investors, we can see the uh, top five investors information and we can select based on all the ones actually. After that, we will select whatever the required we need. Then after we can just simply select apply changes. So now we can see all the information, that information here. Now we can simply ex export the file. You can see, we can click the export. So suppose for example, if you don't want all the companies, you can choose how many you want. Or if you want all the uh, information, you can just simply select all, you can export the file. So now once we export, suppose for example, you can see already I have exported the file and here this is the file. You can see the information here. So I have already uploaded it on Google Sheet actually. So you can see the organization name, organization country based URL. So we can see industries location. So and if you can see here possible uh, companies, social media URLs information, their company contact information you can see. So description, uh, funding related information, industry related information, how much funded amount they got and uh, how many roles they got. So if we scroll down a little bit more, so you can see here, uh, like here you can see top five investors companies information. So then after, if you can scroll down here, like you can see the founders information also. So this is how crunch based uh, companies information looks like. So then after the first one is com companies information we have gone through. So then after we'll go through the contact information. See here company's information we can have a chance to export. But the problem is uh, the contact information we cannot export from Crunchbase actually. So here we cannot access the email IDs and mobile numbers if we have Crunchbase Pro also. Like uh, that needs separate plan for Crunchbase actually. But we can have a chance to use this information for research purpose. So for example if we can see here. For example filters all. Like you can see that I'm going to filter here few things actually. So now I just simply selected executive profiles. So if I can scroll down a little bit more, you can see the organization information. So here, for example, I will select which, uh, whatever I selected on company's information, same. So for example, uh, headquarters location, United States. So simply we can select the United States. So once we select United States, we can only have a chance to see the United States contacts information. Then after, if we can scroll down a little bit more, so you can see the industry. So I will just select the same one, SaaS. So once we select the SaaS, then we can see all the SaaS related companies, invest, uh, employees information. So then after, if I can scroll down a little bit more, here I selected earlier 50. I will just simply show you again the same filters. So here we are not doing again different thing, like uh, whatever the filters we applied on, Companies information, we are going to apply and we'll see what will happen on contacts information. So number of employees, 50 we selected, we can see 5,585. So then after if we can scroll down a little bit more organization financials. So now I just simply select here past year. So once I select past year, now we can see the information like 438 contacts information. So for example, you can see what type of profiles here we have. Uh, chief. Uh, CEO profile, we have uh, like co-founder profile, CTO, CTO co-founder, co-founder. So we can see all the information, CEO, co-founder, co-founder and CEO, chief innovation officer. So we, we can have a chance to access this information. So we can go to their LinkedIn profiles and we can connect with them if we want. So, but the problem is we can't export this information actually. We need separate plan for that. So this is the contact information. Then after, uh, we'll go to the investors ones. So once we go to the investors once, you can see the all the investment companies or in, in individual investors information here. So suppose for example, here also I will filter and I will show you how to filter is our targeted ones. So for example, the same filters I will apply, whatever the filters I have used on companies and contacts, same filters we will apply. But here we will see the investors who invested into that companies actually. So for example, headquarters, I will just simply mention United States. So once we select the, uh, these are the, you can see the changes actually here. So now we can see uh, uh, this, these are the top investment companies here. So now we type, I will just select individuals. So we'll see the only individuals. 
so once we select the individuals we can see the all the individuals and angel investors information only now we can see the 21000 results now i will scroll down a little bit more so number of investments uh, like i will just select two like uh, this means like uh, how many investments they invested actually so i will just simply select minimum two so once we select minimum two then we can have a chance to see the changes so there are 100 10k plus changes actually more than then i will scroll down a little bit more so here you can see the investments i will simply click this one so now here i will just select industry as sas so now i will just sit select sas so now once we enter that industry we can have a chance to see the investors who invested into the sas companies so now i just simply selecting this one so once we select industry now we can have a chance to see uh, there are like uh, 2619 investors who invested into the sas companies these are the angel and individual ones only so now we can see investments at this funding stage i'm just simply selecting here precede so once we select precede then we can see the changes actually knowing 42 investors results so these are the investors who invested into the sas united states sas companies that two particularly uh, early stage actually pre seed stage actually so now we can access the information we can just simply select all so for example we can select here 922 so once we select we can have a chance to filter edit view like earlier i showed you then after we can simply click the export so once we export already i have exported and uploaded into the google sheet i will show you now how this sheet, sheet looks like so now we can see the investor name investor country based url number of investors they invested number of uh, exist location uh, investors uh, linkedin url like here you can see that we don't get direct contact email access actually here we need to know so then after if you need contact email id then what we need to do is we need to use these urls then after we need to use tools like apollo find that lead and all tools to enrich the this uh, linkedin urls email ids then after you can see all the information here the facebook url investment type so uh, twitter url so we can have a chance to see all other information possible information see this is the investors information actually so hopefully you will understand how uh, the company's information looks like how how to uh, select our targeted contacts how to select our targeted investors see crunchbase having other filters and futures options also but these are the main features actually so which whatever the uh, i showed you that the companies and contacts and investors information this is the main on crunchbase so we have many other features like i will show you that uh, the features and filters and coming videos so hopefully now you will like the video and you will understand how crunchbase pro works and how to utilize crunchbase pro properly if you have any doubts related to this process make sure comment in the video comment section i will definitely reply to your comment or if you need my services, like as I said, if you want a crunchbase lead generation or like a, uh, a sales navigator scrapping or LinkedIn data scrapping or like a Instagram data scrapping or recently funded companies information uh, or like anything related to B2B data and web scrapping services, you can contact me directly. As I said, I mentioned here my contact details on WhatsApp. So you can directly click it. If you can click this link, that will redirect to my WhatsApp actually directly. So thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.